You know, fun things are happening in downtown Evansville when Adam Trinkle is on Local Lifestyles. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Angie. Well, yesterday you were downtown, you were selling your shirts and, and cups, there was music everywhere. What was going on? Yeah, so that's something new that we've done this year. We've launched a new lunchtime series called Tuesday Tunes and Treats. And so for us, it's an opportunity to engage with people during the daytime hours, particularly the people who work downtown. Um, and so what we do is we bring in a local artist or musician, um, and then we also pair that with providing some delicious treats and sweets from our downtown businesses. So yesterday, for example, we had um, delicious ice cream sandwiches um, from our friends at MG's Deli on Main Street. It was fun too. Now, who were the musicians? Um, so Kyle Paisley was the musician yesterday, and then we're doing this every Tuesday in July. So we've done two, and then we have two more. Um, next week we have, um, I know she's a friend of your show, Angel Rose. Yes, Cousin uh, Angel, as we call her. Yes, yes. So we're very excited. And each time that we do this, we move to a different location downtown. So we want to highlight the different um, beautiful aspects of our downtown. And so next week we're going to be moving down just a little bit. We're going to be on the 300 block of Main Street, and we're going to be in front of the beautiful fountain um, by Angele Interiors. Perfect. And what time does everything start, Adam? So that is um, from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. So we encourage people to come on their lunch break or bring your lunch to the um, event and just listen to some music. It's very easy to social distance and spread out. And of course, it's outdoors. Were you pleased when I saw you yesterday? There were lots of folks outside, including us out there eating lunch. Were you pleased with what you saw from the citizens? Absolutely, we're very pleased. Um, you know, obviously we're, we're challenged with some restrictions due to the pandemic. So this was just an opportunity for us to do a very casual, fun, relaxing lunchtime series. Take a little break from your daily grind. Come out there, um, enjoy um, a delicious treat too, as well as some music from our local artists. Well, this morning, I have to say congratulations. This very early this morning, I saw that you had posted this kind of a shout out for local artists to come help you create these little caricatures to get your picture made in. And you, you already have an answer. We do. So we, <laughs> we did post on our Facebook page, downtown Evansville, Indiana, yesterday that we were seeking um, artists to design some um, backdrops for us. And, and the purpose was that to use them for upcoming events like our inaugural dog day, which is on September 12th. Um, we just want to create some really engaging, fun pho photography background backdrops, I should say. And we have an outpouring of um, people messaging us on our Facebook page. So we're working through with those folks, but we're excited to partner with some local artists to do this and, and create some fun memories for some of our upcoming events. But it really was amazing how quickly you got a response. Well, tell us about the dog days. So Dog Days is a new event. Um, we were originally scheduled to have it in May, but due to the pandemic, we have rescheduled it to Saturday, September 12th. And we are very confident that we can still have the event. Um, it's an outdoor event, of course, and it's gonna be spread out through different blocks of downtown. So we're gonna have, um, we're partnering with a lot of local nonprofit organizations like the Vanderburg Humane Society, who um, of course owns River Kitty Cat Cafe. Um, they're going to come and we're going to pay to have um, so many vaccinations available that day. Um, we're working with a bunch of different sponsors right now to solidify other things like a dog pampering area, um, a bone bar, a dog agility <laughs> course. Um, so all these fun different things. And then we tie it back to our shops because a lot of our shops are going to run special promotions um, like 20% off or a certain percentage of their sales are going to be donated back to a local nonprofit that assists, assists animals in need. So we're really excited about this event. Um, like I said, it's, it's an outdoor event. We're still planning to have it. Probably as we get closer to the event, I'd, I'd love to come and talk to you more about it um, because we just think it's going to be really popular. We've seen so many people who either live downtown or just come downtown, bring their, their pets with them. And so we just wanted to create an opportunity for them to engage with downtown in a new and exciting way. Well, they'll love it, Adam. Thank you so much for being with us again. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. We'll be back with more Lifestyles after this.